All right, we're on the air. You guys ready to rock this candle? Let's start the show. Welcome to this week's edition of the Wednesday Drive on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. Hope everyone's having a great last day of November. Can you believe it? Last day of November already. I can't believe that. Tomorrow is December, I do believe. Let me check my handy dandy little uh, thing. And I'm, yeah, tomorrow, December 1st. Crazy. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about here in the next hour. We got uh, shotgun season starting in Iowa. We got some uh, show information. I've got a menu to tell you about for the big dinner that we're having uh, next Wednesday. It's for our anniversary party on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. If you're here in Central Iowa, you are more than welcome to come out. Uh, just join us. Uh, we'll take some more RSVPs on the show on Saturday. And uh, the first, uh, I think we've got uh, several people already RSVP'd already, but uh, everybody's going to get that RSVP is going to get a hat, guaranteed to get an Outdoor Call Radio hat one of a uh, limited edition and uh dinner is going to be on andrew and i so there you go and then uh but uh i think we're going to cut that off to the first 20 people but uh after that you know you want to come out and have a shake or a beer or whatever and uh have just sit around and talk a little outdoor hunting fishing stuff we'd love to have you come out to the central standard restaurant out in waukee that is where we'll be doing the show next wednesday live uh here on the outdoor call radio network so how about that huh a lot of people got uh, been out with windy, 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 and uh, it's been it's been cold and windy and everything else. So just hang in there because it's almost uh, it's almost there. Here's Andrew. Andrew just got here. So uh, anyway, uh, show brought to you in part by the Milo Locker. Thanks to all the gang down there. We appreciate them very much for helping us do the show each and every week here on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. So. Uh, let's see. First shotgun season uh, is going to happen, like I said, on Saturday, and I've got some stuff to tell you about. I'm going to switch over and have Andrew run the boards, and I'm going to move while we can move. So <laughs> let me get him situated. Tell you what, let me take a real quick break, since, and then we'll get everything. Hi, Tony. How's it going, buddy? Hey, and you're going to want to listen on the app today. If you're on, uh, there's uh, Andrew, everybody. You're going to want to listen on the app today and, uh, because I'm going to do something special for the audience on the app. And you're, no, you're not going to know when I'm going to do it. So I'm going to wait till quarter after to let everybody get on, switch over to the Outdoor Call Radio app and listen to us live there. But uh, you're going to, someone's going to have a chance to win something pretty nice today. So uh, that we'll do that when we come back. So stay here. Don't flippy floppy. And we'll be right back after these fine words from our sponsors. Be right back. Heading to your favorite outdoor spot, is your hunting, fishing, or utility knife ready for any task? Well, if you use the original WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener before you left, you know what they are. The WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener is designed to sharpen every knife you own. By using changeable, flexible, abrasive belts, the sharpening system is able to sharpen a variety of knives, including curved and serrated knives, tonto blades, fillet knives, gut hooks, axes, and even kitchen knives. The WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener does this with precision angle sharpening guides and flexible abrasive belts to ensure the proper 20-degree angle every time. Each WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener is assembled in the USA by a family-owned and operated company. Services are always a call so if you love the outdoors and oh. depend on a sharp knife, consider checking out one of the WorkSharp knife and tool sharpeners or the WorkSharp guided field sharpener at a store near you or anytime at WorkSharpTools.com. That's WorkSharpTools.com. Tacticam has launched the best-in-class cellular trail camera, the number one selling action camera in the industry. The new reveal by Tacticam will change the way you scout forever. Not only is it one of the easiest to set up, but the most affordable cellular camera on the market. As you know, you educate your game and leave your scent when checking cameras in the field. With Reveal, 
Those issues are gone. You can receive pictures in almost real time right to your day. app without going into the Have field. The reveal offers yeah. half-second trigger speeds. Well, it detects game from up to 96 feet credit. away in 4G so and LTE to wireless today. modules. Verizon and AT&T plans available. 24-inch LCD screen, adjustable night illumination, and data plans starting as low as $5 a Hi, month. Jake. The reveal's world-class app Tony, allows you good to, to see you. your camera, add cameras, view and organize pictures, and much more. Again, plans starting as low as $5 a month. The new reveal by Tacticam saves time, gas, and most importantly, helps you stop educating your game. RevealCellCam.com for more info. Hi, this is your old friend Speed over at Speed's Golf Cars, located in Wall Lake, Iowa. Just stop on over here. We've got a nice selection of new and used golf cars. We're a club car dealer, so we've got a nice selection of new onward cars, as well as a good mix of utility carts as well. We've got a number of pre-owned golf carts in all types of price ranges. Available with fancy wheels, stereo. We've got it here at Speeds Golf Cars. Let the folks at Speeds handle your golf cart needs. Check out our website for a complete inventory at speedsgolfcars.com. Are you into cooking wild game or grilling? If you are, you probably love to transform your wild game into delicious meals or great tasting snacks. High Mountain Seasonings has everything you need to help you make some of the best tasting sausage, snack stick, or jerky around. High Mountain Seasonings offers simple kits you can easily use at home, including three new low sodium blends that will produce wild game snacks your family will love. High Mountain Seasonings makes grilling steak or smoking your favorite meats taste even better with their specialty spices, marinades, and rubs. For deer, elk, or your favorite steaks. High Mountain Seasonings also has chili, taco, and fajita blends that are spicing up kitchens and grills everywhere. Look for High Mountain Seasonings at Sportsman's Warehouse, at your favorite grilling retailer, or just go to HighMTNJerky.com for recipes or to find the closest store near you. High Mountain Seasonings has everything you need to make your game. What's up, Fishing Dave? Hi, Rick. Let's talk about a story. Last, one, last one. Last one. It took several years to come true in Osceola, Iowa. It's the story of Revelton Distilling Company. These fine distilled whiskeys, gins, and vodkas were born from the labor of Robin. What's Christine. up, Dan? How's things up in Alaska? The customers' descriptions of how unique each bottle looks and how each spirit tastes and satisfies with every sip. From the honey whiskey to the whiskey and cream, or the robust mulberry gin, American gin, or vodkas, Revelton Distilling visitors can't believe the flavor profiles the mixologists are creating at the distillery every day. Revelton Distillery is open Wednesday through Sunday in Osceola. They're located at 1400 West Clay Street, right off I-35. Revelton Distillery Fine Spirits are also available at your local grocery and other retailers around Iowa. Please check them out online at reveltondistillery.com or visit them at the distillery. If it's time to celebrate or just time to sit back and unwind, well, then it's time for a Revelton moment. Oh. That's all right. I like owls. That's fine with me. All right. Welcome back to... I said I like owls. That's, that's fine with me. We got, uh, we got a lot to talk about here in the next hour. Thank you so much for being with us on the Wednesday Drive. So our shotgun season is going to start this Saturday. Uh, they're going to, I mean, it's the biggest uh, biggest deer season we have every year as far as amount of numbers in the woods. Hi, Bruce. Good to see you. Dan up in Alaska. Bill, good to see you. Uh, I'm now an urban deer hunter as well. Well, there you go, Bill. That's exciting, man. That's my buddy, Bill. Fishing Dave, Rick, Jacob, Tony, everybody's on here, so that's awesome. So appreciate that. Uh, uh, a lot of folks are anticipating. I just talked to uh, Dave Bloom a while back. He said uh, they're getting a lot of boar sighting in. You know, get out there, shoot your gun before Saturday. Make sure you're shooting the uh, the loads that you're going to be hunting with, and plan your hunt, hunt your plan. Hi, Gary Peck. I will see you tomorrow. There's my walleye boy, my walleye and my bear guide. Actually, see that that guy, Gary Peck. See that right up there, that big bear behind me? That's my biggest black bear. I've shot nine. That's my biggest one, and that came behind Gary's. That's uh, That was it with uh, Mr. Gary Peck. That was a toad, wasn't it, Gary? That was 400-something plus. That was a big bear. He, he, I'll never forget when I called him. I said, hey, I just shot a nice one. He came out, and he uh, he goes, where is he at? And I said, I heard him I heard him go down over there. And we went, and he goes, oh, my gosh, you know what you just did? And I said, yeah, it's a big bear, right? That was an awesome hunt. I, I remember that. So, uh, first shotgun season, a lot of folks have been waiting, biting at the, chomping at the bits to get out to, to the deer woods, and they're, uh, they're going to be looking forward to that. I hope the weather holds out. 
Plan your hunt, hunt your plan. Safety is always uh, paramount in that. You want to be able to identify your target, identify what's beyond your target. If you're going to be doing drives, make sure you know where everybody is at all times on, on the farm uh, and communicate with one another. Don't deviate because that's how things happen. And we don't want to have anything bad happen anyway. Um, I'm going to just go over some uh, reminders here from the DNR. Make sure to have a valid hunting license and habitat fee and deer tag for the correct season. Uh, first season is going to go December 3rd through the 7th. Second season is December 10th through the 18th, right? So, Sean Lotz, how you doing, buddy? Old Lott, Sean Lotz Outdoors, your, your e-bike distribution center. Yeah, my buddy. Hope the kids are feeling better, pal. I'll talk, and I need to talk to you tomorrow too. I'll call you tomorrow. Uh, make sure your blaze orange still fits, and then the orange hasn't faded to the point of being ineffective. You want to make sure that people can see you from a long distance. Minimum amount of blaze orange required by Iowa law to hunt in the fire and deer season: 100%. Solid blaze orange vest, but more is better. Talk to the landowner or tenant to confirm permission to hunt, and see if anyone else has permission to hunt the same property. So there's no lat. Uh, Overlap, you want to make sure everybody stays safe on that, right? Hi, Daniel Burns. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, create a hunting plan that identifies the hunting location, who's on the hunt, outlines the role, describes the hunt. If you're going to be blocking, you're going to be hunting. Uh, if you're going to be pushing, uh, describe the hunt will unfold when the hunters are expected to return home. Leave a copy of that plan at with somebody that is going to be able to watch the clock and make sure nobody has any issues or they can call in case of an emergency. Uh, pick up and fill an interless, interless deer tags. County-specific interless tags are still available in 27 counties, which is nice to hear. So we still have some uh, opportunities for you to get out there and do that. So do you want to listen on the app today? If, you want, if you're watching me on Facebook Live, you can still watch, but I want you to turn the app on because uh, someone's going to win something nice today uh, if you're listening on the app. And I'm going to cut the feed. I'll keep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute the feed to the... Uh, Facebook Live, so you're only going to be able to hear it on the app. I'm just, I'm just going to say that. So, I'm going to do it between now and five, nine, now and six o'clock. Dun dun dun. A little anticipation. Uh, check the Iowa Deer Exchange. If you know, if you don't know what that is, that's a program set up by the the Iowa Department of Natural Resources in the state of Iowa. It's for people that don't have the ability to to go hunt or, but they want venison. They'd like to get some venison. Uh, it's a deer donation program co uh, connecting participants who are willing to provide deer meat with those willing to accept it. To sign up, if you want to try to fill that out, you just go to iowadnr.gov forward slash deer. Then scroll down to Iowa Deer Exchange Program link and fill out the required fields. The database creates a map and a table when the information deer donors and deer recipients can be used to get connected. There is no cost to do that. It is illegal, though, to sell wild fish or game in Iowa. Do not sell your deer. Do not sell... You, any anything that you outfit you're fishing for pheasants quail turkeys don't sell it because if you get caught you're going to get in trouble they're going to spank you it's not good and it, <laughs> yeah, they won't they won't they don't play nice with that uh but th uh, this is a great program it helps a lot of people and along with uh, the hush program help us stop hunger um, it allows hunters an, op an excellent way to extend not only their hunting time but uh it actually you get to help people you might never meet you know, which is always nice. You know, it's always nice to help your neighbors, right? So I like the Hush program. So there you go. Larry Mack is going to come up here and shoot a doe and donate it to the Hush program. So there you go. Uh, and I'm waiting for Larry. Wait till Larry gets up here. So I've been working on the new show. I'll tell you more about that here in a minute. Uh, did, did I send you the logo for the new show? I didn't? No. You not feeling good? No. Well, you should have told me that. You should. You could have stayed home if you're not feeling good. Well, it's just one of those where the ne it's the back, the neck. You know? Oh, you're it's just like, okay. You're not sick. You're no, just, okay. No, no, All right. Gosh, no. Yeah. Why well, worry about my little Andrew? If I was, if I was sick. Yeah. Oh, a big announcement. Uh, we do we do we have that? Uh, do I have that loaded on the bar? I don't know if we do or not. I don't know. I, don't know. Do. I, I will search for something that's adjacent. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Let's see. It's uh, is it under four, three? It'd be under two, one or two. Look under one. Look under one. Is it say? Uh, okay, try two. If it's if it's not. Oh well, wait a minute. That was it right there. Go back to one. Okay, hit home. Yep, yep, yep. All right, go ahead and hit that far left button, far right button, far right button. Far right. Yeah, button. yeah. Hit it. Can I please have your attention? I've just been handed. 
handed an urgent and horrifying news story. It's horrifying. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Ooh, Scoopy. Yep, Scoopy, first time on the air. Uh, uh, I want to. Andrew has been with me for several years now, and. Uh, we were talking after the show Saturday, and I just wanted to, I feel he should have the title because he's helping me do this new network and the program, and uh, I gave him a little bit of a, a little bump of a raise, and he is now the executive producer of the Outdoor Call Radio Network. So, is there a applause button on there? <laughs> applause button. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, when you call the show, be nice to Andrew. Andrew, there you go. Andrew got a little, uh, little, uh, little... D some, some, some recognition that was overdue. So congratulations to Andrew, and I, we couldn't do the show without him. Janine and I are very grateful to have him on the, on working with us on the show. So, uh, let's see. So uh, I told you about that. Okay, now here's the deal on report the harvest by midnight on the day it is tagged, before taking it to the locker or taxidermist. The hunter whose name is on the transportation tag is responsible for making the report. If a no deer is harvested, no report is necessary. The Iowa DNR will be working with hunters to collect tissue uh, samples to test for chronic waste and disease. Interested hunters are encouraged to contact their local wildlife biologist to arrange for samples to be collected. If the sample quota has been filled, the DNR will assist with submitting the sample through the hunter submission system in partnership with Iowa State University, which comes with a fee of $25. Okay? So that's uh, shotgun one is uh, like I said December seventh. I'm sorry, third through the seventh. Shotgun two starts December second through the tenth uh, through the eighteenth. I'll get it right one of these days. First shotgun December three through the seventh. Second shotgun is December tenth through the eighteenth. So there you go. Everybody have fun. Be careful out there. I'll be buzzing around my property, my lease, and making sure everybody stays where they're at. And just be nice. Keep the eight. Hey, and here's the thing. And this is this is important. If you see somebody that shouldn't be on your property, or you know, if you got a lease, um, and they're and they're pushing over the, they're not they're not they didn't have they don't have permission to hunt on there. Don't confront them. Don't do just pick, call the sheriff's department and call your local DNR agent and just sit there and take video, take pictures, and then wait for them to handle it. It's not worth getting into an altercation where people have firearms. Okay. If you can get license plates of the trucks, do that. So you got you know document as much as you can, but try not to get into a confrontation situation. Uh, everybody wants to be home safe, and it's a shame we even have to say this. But I've had people ask me this week what to do. You know, what do you do? And that's exactly what I do. I call Officer Lonneman. Craig Lonneman's my DNR officer, and I actually have people watching the farm that I hunt uh, when I'm not around. So we've got people running around. So uh, we and we actually we got drones. We got drones this year, so if someone's on our side, we're going to be taking drone footage of them. And I don't know if a lot of people know this or not, but did you know that if you shoot a drone out of the sky, that's a federal offense? I wouldn't be shooting any drones if someone's flying a drone at you. Even if it's someone like a private? Yeah. It, it, the FCC considers it as an aircraft, and that is that is a federal oh. offense. So if someone's buzzing around your house. And we'll call the authorities. You can't just yeah, yeah, don't shoot it out of the sky. Yeah. It's on your property. The air is not your property. Yeah. That's the way the FCC looks okay, at it. Okay, I, yeah. I see it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I you know, I you know, that's that way you can get documentation and you know, there's it you know, like I said, there's too many people that uh, Let's just, we want to get along with our neighbors, right? But everybody should abide by the rules. Because I, you know, like I, the way I look at it, here's what I always say. I don't trespass on my neighbors. I don't, I don't hunt on the fence. I don't do any of that. I always stay, so I always stay 40, 50, 60 yards from any fence line that I can. And I hunt the opposite direction. I try to be very respectful of my neighbors. And I expect the same from my neighbors. So there you go. Anyway. That's uh, there you go. That's our that's our preview for the shotgun season, and uh, I'm excited about that. So, uh, pheasant season is still running. It's going to run through January 10th. So there's going to be pheasant hunters out there pushing. So make sure you identify what you're doing, and uh, and uh, don't don't uh, be shooting at any noise or movement. So that's <laughs> I don't need to. I shouldn't have to expand on that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> yeah. Can you wear camouflage? Can you wear camouflage 
blocked camouflage. Is that like a is that like a checkered camel? No, you can't. It's got to be solid blaze orange. You can't wear if you got like the black with the orange blaze orange and stuff. That's not legal. You got to be 100% blaze orange to be compliant. So don't don't be wearing uh, don't be wearing the camouflage blaze. Can I wear blaze orange to work? You can wear blaze. I probably need to wear a blaze orange to work at the school. I think it's a great. I thing. think that's a you know that I, way they can readily ad identify you as a teacher. They will absolutely identify. <laughs> and Aaron said. And brown cows are not deer from a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it moves, that's not a mating call. Now, yeah, a buck growl is not totally different. Yeah, there you go, Aaron. Yeah, I actually had somebody send me a picture. Where somebody was writing cow on. They were painting what with white paint cow on their cow. Yeah. I think most hunters know that it's it's a cow. Yeah. <laughs> Don't shoot Bessie. Yeah. Don't oh, shoot Bessie. Man. We want to make sure we take care of Bessie. So. Got to take care of Bessie. Got to take care of Bessie. Got to take care of Bessie. All right. Uh, I tell you what. Let me take a real quick break. Oh, you know what? Hey, hey, what, Richard? Good luck to all the gunners out there. There you go, Richard. There you go. So, hey, uh, just real quick on the new show, we're going to start doing a new show in January in addition to the Wednesday Drive and the regular Saturday Outdoors Dan show. Uh, we're going to start doing a, we're, we're going down the rabbit holes, what we're doing. We're going to start talking about some fun stuff. It's going to be called Unexplained Files, and I got the logo up, I just threw it up on, uh, but I just, uh, first guest is going to be, uh, first show is going to be January 11th, it's going to be Wednesday nights, right, what's up James, how you doing? It's going to be Wednesday night right after this, the Wednesday drive at 7. Uh, Andrew and I will have a little bit of a break there just to get everything ready. But our first guest is going to be Tobe Johnson. And uh, Toby uh, is one of the people, uh, him and Brett is the executive producer. They did a movie on Bigfoot uh, called Flash of Beauty that, aired, that came out last year. And they're working on a, a, a number, a sequel. So the, those guys are going to be our first guest. But... I've been on the phones, man. I just talked to an astrologer, uh, not an astro astrometer. Help me out. What's somebody that studies the stars? What Astrology. is Astrology. Astrologist. You've had it the first time. Did I? Okay. Uh, we're going to be talking with somebody that knows quantum physics and string theory, and he's in a, he does he teaches astrology, and he is uh, part of MUFON, which is like the big UFO network. And this guy actually did some stuff with the Navy, which is fascinating. Uh, but his, uh, he's going to be on, uh, I talked to some people out in Los, uh, out in, uh, in Nevada. Where's Tombstone at? Arizona. Tombstone, yes. Arizona. Uh, the, if you ever watch Tombstone, the movie, uh, we're going to be talking to the people that own the saloon where, uh, Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday and all them had the, where they had the shows. It's called the Birdcage Theater. I've already got them, uh, in to, uh, do a show. It's supposed to be really, really haunted. Uh, and then we're going to talk to a really nice lady out in Pennsylvania that does uh, stuff on uh, about Gettysburg, all the battlefields, which they say there's some really uh, weird stuff that happens out there. So we got a great we got a great run uh, for the first four or five weeks. I, I got a gentleman from Illinois that's written several books on hauntings, and um, I reached out to some other people. So uh, this is going to be called the Unknown Files. And if you got a story. And nobody's going to make fun of you. I promise you. Nobody's going to nobody's going to laugh at you. But if you've had something experience in the woods, there's a lot of hunters out there. Believe it or not, because I get emails every year. This is why we're kind of doing this. I get people that have uh, either hunting or out camping or hiking, and they see something they just don't know what it is. They want they're they're wanting to talk about it. So this is why we started doing this other show. But that'll give you something different to listen to on the Outdoor Call Radio app on Wednesday evening. So I'm excited about that. All right, uh, we'll be right back. You stay tuned and uh, keep it here, no flippy floppy. And Andrew and I will be back after these fine words from our sponsors on the Outdoor Call Radio. I'll get it on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. When it comes to aiming, you need a good sight that is not only easy to see, but one that will hold up in the field under the harshest of conditions. Well, have you seen what custom? Who's going shotgun hunting Saturday? Saturday? Custom bow I'm not. I got to do the show. Give me a show of hands. Who's going hunting? Any budget. The new Trek and Trek Pro models have folks talking at every shoot. The Trek series offers tons of adjustment with exceptional precision sighting in. Not only does custom bow equipment have great sights, they also have great stable. How do I mute this if I want to talk to the people on the app when we come back? What I just what I just hit five arrow quiver is what I just hit that exceptionally strong. 
If oh, you yeah, want to see what hit, all uh, the excitement or is about, can I hit mute? Yeah, I'd hit that. Because that's your mic. That's right here? Yeah. Okay. Now it's guaranteed. Okay. Yeah. I got so it. Hey, Sam. Or you can designate where you want. Custom bow equipment. Yeah, no, just great hunting accessories. Okay. I got it. Your bow. Hi, my name is Hannah, and I like Chick fil A nuggets because they are made with love. It's kind of like if you want to go to your grandmother's house for dinner, it's going to be your real home cooked meal. You can't go wrong with it. Hey y'all, I'm Maddie, and something I love about the Chick-fil-A nuggets is their gold color. It lets me know that I'm about to enjoy something hot and delicious. It's just comfort food. It there you go, healthy. David. Real guests paid for their testimonial. Hey, when that alarm goes off at 4.30 in the morning or you just need a cup of pick-me-up in the middle of the day, don't forget... That, that cup of coffee is only a click away at purewhitetail.com. Some of my favorites are the all-day sit. Now, that's a medium roast of keep alert and be ready on the stand all day. If you like a flavorful cup of goodness, how about the Highlander Grog? That's a smooth butterscotch spicy note of caramel with some whiskey flavoring that will get your Scottish side all excited. Non-alcoholic, of course. Morning Embers is also <laughs> a fine choice of coffee that will keep you feeling grooving all day. Pure White Tail has select new roasts coming soon that will make great gifts for the coffee lover in your family. So when your coffee pot needs some new brew love, just go to purewhitetail.com and select Grill and Grind to order. There's a new logo for the show. Smelling better than ever. Last one. Isn't that cool? I like that. Now, for if we make if we get shirts and stuff, that's that's the logo for the shirts. If you're oh, considering that. going silent huh? to I'd enhance to your that. hunting yeah. experience, head on I thought that was cool. Thanks to Paul Biggs. Thanks, Biggsy. What Baku bikes and Forerunner blinds can do for you. John is the Midwest dealer for Baku and Forerunner blinds. He can show you the reason why Baku bikes are the most popular choice because of their quality and superb customer service. You don't want UFO like the forensic files theme song or anything like that, do you? I don't know. We're going to have to just come up with something weird or sounds weird. I think a... To see these like a mash lines, there's trailers, been a couple bikes, shows that know like mash up US. different songs. Go check kinda, out Lots Outdoors at their website, have audio, www. Like www. Lotsoutdoors.com. Yeah. I don't know, just get on art list and see what we can do. Because I'm going to have to start cut. i got to cut liners yet. One thing I want to do like, later on is get... Uh, we all want um, the deadliest broadheads out like, there. Are you try Citrix? Citrix are one of the most accurate the and deadliest like, broadheads that's on the market. Really no matter so which we're, we're in after this. you choose, the Raptor trick, coming the back. Trick, the Magnum, the Wicked trick, the Grizz yeah, trick cool. too. Yeah, the actually, I'm going to have you cut out. I'm going to have you send to the big voice guys uh, three or four liners. So that way it's a different liner than what's... Uh, it's already a lot, a lot of me are here on here already. Yeah, I'll get uh, I'll get a couple different voices. If you are a mechanical fan, the Raptor trick is going to be now back to the unknown files. Yeah, back to the unknown diameter and deadly more unknown with the unknown files. That they can depend That's on one hundred percent of the time. And get like four different liners. Yeah, that yeah. shot. Do not yeah, trust it to I got a you. head that will not deliver a short recovery. For more information, go online at SlickTrick.net. This year, trick sure. with Slick Trick Broadheads and tag your game. I'll do that. You don't have to do that. All right, welcome back to the Wednesday Drive. November 30th, the last Wednesday, the last, last Wednesday drive in November of 2022. Can you believe that? That's This year went by way too quick. That's insane. It is insane. I'm telling you, it's not good. Uh, I got a fishing report to tell you about, but before I do that, I want to tell you about what we're going to eat next Wednesday out at uh, out at uh, Central Standard Restaurant. Listen to this. Uh, we've wait. got loaded fries for an appeti appetizer. Uh, they've got cheese curds. It is a teaser. It is it. Yeah, yeah. Teaser, teaser. Uh, I hate appetizer. Appetizer is a better way to say it. Yeah, appetizer. Yeah. Uh, five or uh, ten. We're gonna have Caesar wraps, uh, club sandwiches, uh, cheeseburger sliders, and uh, mm -hmm. some other little surprises. So that's what the menu is gonna be. If you want to come out to the uh, to the anniversary party for the outdoor call radio. Uh, it's out at Central Standard in Waukee off of University. Just uh, give Andrew or I, uh, you know, you can message us. Um, just you can message us here on Facebook on this broadcast 
or you can call the show on Saturday on ESPN and tell Andrew while we're doing the show if you want to RSVP. I think we got, I think we got five or six openings left. Yep. So if you want to come out, I mean, you're more than welcome to come out even if it's after five o'clock and just hang out. We'd love to talk about hunting and fishing with you and uh, or whatever you like. So we'll be out there. Uh, I'll be out there from probably four forty-five, four thirty until at least seven thirty, eight o'clock. So come out and say hi if you're in the neighborhood. Love to see you. All right. And somebody's going to win a pair of diamond earrings from Herman's Jewelers that night. Yeah, we got a little uh, little thank you. I saved a pair for that. I can't believe it's almost been a year since we've been on the air. It's crazy. I uh, appreciate everyone that's downloaded the app, watches the shows, and uh, takes part in the contests. And uh, we have a lot of fun doing it, and we hope you have as much fun listening in. And I appreciate all my partners and everything for doing that. We well, couldn't do the new show if I wasn't on the network. I mean, we can. that's the nice thing about this. We can do... We got a gun uh, gun show coming on here in a few weeks. As soon as Kurt gives me the okay, he's just waiting on some little stuff. And uh, we got a saltwater fishing show coming on uh, that our, our buddy Trevor is going to help produce. And uh, we're going to have the Respect the Game TV show with Larry, Ryan, and Paul and I. That'll probably start after the first of the year when everybody's done hunting. And uh, we I can get everybody together. But we'll air that. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. What's up, my friend? Hope it goes well. Well, Kev, we're doing well. Good, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right, it's 5.30 and some change here. But I'm going to do the fishing reports. So between now and uh, I'm going to give you 15 more minutes to get on the Outdoor Call radio app. Better get going. You better get going because between now and quarter till six, I will make the announcement. And only if you're, on, you're only going to hear it if you're on the app. So And you got a chance of winning something tonight. Tonight. Tonight, just because it's Christmas. I want to do something extra. I'm going to try and do something every other week between now and Christmas because I got that other contest. We're going to draw the winners for the other contest, the screenshot deal, Saturday. So I know I got a couple in today, so thank you, everybody, for doing that, too. Uh, Clear Lake. Lake has been partially frozen over. Ice thickness is zero to four inches. Ice fishing is not recommended. Clear Lake has a protected uh, slot on walleyes. All walleye between 17 and 22 inches must be immediately released. On harm, daily limit is three. With no more than one walleye, long, walleye longer than 22 inches may be taken. Perch is doing okay. Uh, live bait, small jigs near vegetation beds are doing that. Uh, let's see. Winnebago River. Walleye bite is fair. Try using live bait in deeper holes. Best bite is after sunset, they say. Ada Hayden Heritage Park, uh, the, trout, the trout are doing good. Uh, small inline spinner spoons, 1 8 ounce, or smaller twister tail jigs on our live bait under a float. And you need a valid fishing license and pay for the trout fee to fish or possess trout. Des Moines River, Stratford to Sailorville, Des Moines River, uh, walleye bite is fair. Try slowly retrieving jigs. Tip with twister tails, paddle tails, or live bait. Find arrows with slow current and dust greater than feet, uh, 3 feet. Lake Pataka, Pataka, rainbow trout, same thing. Spinner, inline spinner, spoons, one eight ounce jigs or smaller twister tails are live bait under a float. Terra Lake, same thing. Uh, let's see, Big Lake trout were stocked recently. This is including Gilbert's Pond. Look for another stocking in January when the ice is safe. Uh, Lake Anita, the black crappie bite is fair. Look for crappies drifting on the roadbeds and around deep tree piles. Brant, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Uh, black crappie bite there is good. Uh, the gills. Look for gills around deep structure or along creek channel edges. Metal lake, black crappie bite, vertical jig or casting metals under a bobber to the cedar tree piles in the lake to catch about 10, uh, 10 inch black crappies. Three mile, uh, the uh, gills and crappie bite is fair. So there's your fishing report uh, for the day. How about that? All right. How about that? I got all right. So this is uh, this is uh, what, what will next uh, next week? I'll be able to tell you about the big announcement from the outdoor group. We got a big thing popping on. I tried to get Larry. He must have been. He, he had phone calls set up this afternoon. But uh, the outdoor group elite archery is going to be making a big deal. Um, and I know the secret's kind of out already. I'm I'm I can't really talk about it. Because I'm under a, uh, I'm under a, uh, threaten to get my nose pinched by Larry if I talk about it openly. But I can tell you it's going to be pretty cool. Elite's never done this before, 
and uh, you're going to be uh, pretty impressed. Larry said he was really impressed with it, uh, and uh, I'll tell you as soon as I, I can put my hands on, on one. But next, uh, next uh, Tuesday, next Tuesday it's going to launch, so make sure you go to leadarchery.com and check that out and see what's going on. So anybody got any questions? I can still hit uh, Facebook Live if you want to, if you're watching, you can message me. Any, any questions, any things? Talked to Mountain Man and I talked to Chris, the boys out in Pennsylvania, trying to set up a bird hunt last week of season in January. You know, hey, Brand, if I'm not hunting, I'm going to I'm going to do a late season deer hunt. I don't know if it's going to be here in Iowa because I can get a late season muzzleloader tag to still. Um, I don't know if I'm doing Iowa or if I'm going to go down to Missouri and hunt with Ryan and Larry. I'm still trying to get that figured out. But if I'm done hunting, maybe we can go bird hunting. I'd like to do that. I It's been a while. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to take Raven, though. So... Uh, yeah. Hey, real quick, uh, I need to thank the people at the Iowa Veterinary Hospital over by Valley Junction. I had to take Raven to the emergency room the other night, and they were so nice and so kind. Uh, it was uh, late at night, and he ate sh something he shouldn't have ate, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't good. He's okay, uh, and uh, but they had to they had to get his stomach pumped. Empty his stomach and uh, and uh, push some fluids in him and stuff and well thank you Kevin I appreciate that I'd love to come up to Jersey and, man you guys you know, you know what I'd love to go and do in Jersey you guys got big bears up there man I'm telling you I'm talking four or five hundred pound bears they're huge out there uh, let's talk about some field safety stuff first aid equipment what you need this weekend Aaron I already talked about that I just talked about plan your hunt plan your hunt hunt your plan. First aid kit, always have a first aid kit in the truck. I carry mine everywhere I go. Uh, you want to get some, uh, get some. make sure you got bandages, clean bandages. You want to make sure you got gauze, you got pressure dressings. Um, if you got, uh, if you get, if you can get a, afford to get a first aid kit that's got clotting, clotting material that you can put right, if someone has a gunshot wound, that you can pour that powder or insta clot. If you can get stuff like that, that's always a good thing to have. Well, I, <laughs> He, Brant, he's okay. He's okay. They just put an injunction in and stop the bear hunt next week. Ah, figures. Well, if that opens up again, Kevin, because Larry, Larry and Ryan and them guys went up there a couple years ago and filmed it. Quick clot. Thank you, Brant. Um, I would encourage everybody to have that in the truck, you know, because, hey, I, I, was, uh, I was at a hunt. I'm not going to tell you where it was, and I had a friend and acquaintance actually stuck a broadhead in his calf. And if it wasn't for my buddy uh, putting a tourniquet on him, he would have bled out. So that quick clot and uh, something to make a tourniquet or pressure bandages and stuff, it's always a good idea to have that accessible. And not only for you, if you're out there upland hunting, you got to think about your dog too. you got to make sure you have a first aid kit for your dog. Splinting material, uh, any, kind of, any kind of ace wraps or gauze, uh, uh, and an and a, uh, antibacterial ointment or cream. Um, you want to make sure that you have all that. Uh, I've, got, I've got everything in a nice little pack underneath my seat on my truck. I, I don't go anywhere without it. So, so once a corman, well, always a corman. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not going to do CPR on somebody, especially if it's Larry. There's no way I'm doing mouth to mouth on. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah? Yeah. You're not going that far. Larry's bad news, buddy. Lone Ranger said you're going to die. <laughs> you know that joke? <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll tell you later. Yeah, yeah, I'll just stomp on his chest, do compressions that way. Now you can get an Ambu bag. They have some kits that have an Ambu bag where you can do if you don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm kidding. Someone actually was in need of CPR. I have a minimum of 600 pounds uh, near running on my property. I see him on my cameras regularly. Wow. That's a big bear, Kevin. That's a big bear. Big bear. Big, big bear. bear chase me. Big, big bear. That's a big bear, man. Big bear. And those, when them bears, you know, them bears get that old. And, uh, you know, uh, and I had somebody ask me this today. This is a great question. I had somebody ask me today, what has a better cement, uh, sense of smell? A deer, uh, a wolf, um, or like a, uh, uh, I, I don't know if he asked me a bear or not, to be honest with you. I know he asked me about the wolf and the deer. A wolf can actually smell up to a mile. Uh, up to a mile. I mean, their their sense of smell is amazing. Uh, uh, a white-tailed deer is about three to four hundred yards and or a quarter mile, and uh, a bear actually has a better nose than a deer. 
believe it or not. They have one of the best olfactory senses since systems. Hey, what animal what animal has the best sense of smell? Anybody know that? Huh? huh. Anybody want to take a guess? Huh? 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 That should be your Saturday trivia. That should be my Saturday trivia. Well, they'll, they'll Google it by then. Yeah. I'll give you a hint. Mm. Elephant. An elephant has a, one of the best sense of smells in the animal kingdom. Well, he definitely has a long enough snout. Petropus. <laughs> if I had a mile long nose, yeah, I hope I'd be able to smell it. <laughs> Brant says a shark. Hey, sharks, they have a good sense of smell, Brant. You're not, you're not wrong on that, man. But I'm talking, I guess mammal, I should say land mammal. Huh? Elephant. There you go. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was told by a biologist. All right, so uh, 540 and some change. Let me hit a real quick break. I am going to mute you on Facebook Live, and I'm going to go over to the folks watching from the Wildfire Grill, Dano. Well, Raj, thanks, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to mute you guys for just now a quick... Listen. Yeah, everybody on the app needs to listen up. Don't, don't go anywhere. Um, we'll be right... Uh, you know what? Here, hang on. Before we go to break, I'm going to do this real quick. Hang on. Facebook Live. Don't go nowhere, Facebook Live. Guys. All right, we're back. I had uh, told everybody on the app what we were doing. If you weren't on the app, I'm sorry. I still love you. All right. We'll be right back on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. Trails are not always easy. That's why your boots need to fit and perform when you're outdoors. What's up, Chris? Adventures for over 40 years. Itasca learned over the years that using only the highest quality materials and hardware is the way to make footwear for the whole family in all situations. Whether you're out elk hunting, chasing moose or whitetails, riding snowmobile trails, or ice fishing in sub zero weather, Itasca footwear will provide you not only a great fit, but comfort for all day adventures. Itasca has sizes and styles for the whole family. You want to give them the same comfort and fit that you look for in footwear so everyone can enjoy their day. He's on the phone. Itasca footwear. He's either that or he's shooting his bow. Customers at most ah. major and family owned retails. For more information or footwear styles, please go to <laughs> www.itascabrands.com. Already got emails. They will keep you on the move. Ah. Ankeny that's all about the outdoors, and that place is Sportsman's Warehouse. They provide all lines of hunting and fishing gear at the best prices. You can find gear for deer. Man, deer, hard to believe shotgun season's here already. That's just crazy. New products arrive each week to outfit you better. They have a complete firearms area, providing the finest firearms. Emails are going crazy. My goodness. from cleaning equipment to reloading can be found at Sportsman's Warehouse. Their fishing department is simply the I best. I like my new Tacticam sweatshirt. Isn't that nice? I like that. Spotty green. From the serious angler to All greened up. Enthusiast. Chris, did you get a camera? I know you were looking for a camera to take pics. To the best clothes and footwear like lacrosse and Danner for the entire family. That's what you'll find at Sportsman's Warehouse. They're located off Highway 35 on Or Labor Road. Open seven days a week to serve you. Ask about the seminar series happening every month. Your hometown out there. You go, Sean. Sportsman's Warehouse. I'll announce that. Thank you, buddy. Hey, everybody. Outdoors Dan here. Let me ask you a quick question. Are you a hunter? If I'm you are, there's that. a group that I would like to introduce you to, and that's Hunting Works for Iowa. It doesn't Hunting sound Works like for it. Iowa is a statewide not. organization. It's because they slew. I know. That's why I hate it. What it does for the state of Iowa. Did you know hunting in Iowa annually brings in huge... There's like the fast-paced sound in the background. ...by tags and permits every year so they can it's make sure crazy impacts restaurants, retail stores, gas stations, convenience stores... One more after this. ...guides all over the state of Iowa. That leads to... Sean, you at the store or in the woods? ...taxes and retail sales that help... 
help keep Iowa moving forward. Anti-hunting groups are working hard every year to limit your ability to hunt here. So Hunting Works for Iowa is partnering with not only hunters, but businesses all across the state to protect your rights. If you want to learn more about Hunting Works for Iowa, or if you're interested I'm in... I'm going to call you. Please go check out their website at huntingworksforiowa.com. Hello, this is Dave from awesome. JLM. I'm going to put you on the radio. Hang on. We are a full-service gun shop. Where's, that, uh, where's that cord at? You find the right firearm for your needs. We carry new and used firearms for all shooting know where you put it. From self-defense to shooting this enthusiasts, is, uh, as well as folks who like to hunt. We have recently expanded you our store took to it better off. serve your needs. We still accept trades on all types of guns. We'll also look at what firearm you might wish to sell or put on consignment. JLM Shooter Supply carries firearms to meet any budget. And we can even special order items for those who like to add higher-end guns to their collection. JLM also has a full-time gunsmith on board that can help with all your gun repair needs. So from ammo and hearing protection to gun cleaning kits, holsters, and sights, we handle it all at JLM all right. Shooter Supply yeah. in Urbandale. Please stop by and see us at 6931 Douglas Avenue in Urbandale. Or call us at 515-331-1577. That's 515-331-1577. That's called Montana Montana Buck, I think. That's what I. That's what we use for the uh, rejoiner for the uh, Hunting for Exes show with Darren Christenberry and Nathan Brooks. I like that. That's a good. That's a catchy little snappy tune. All right, hey, uh, we're gonna go to the phones and talk to our little buddy Sean over there at Lots Outdoors in St. Peter's, Illinois. Sean, you there? I'm here, buddy. I think that's the first time I've ever been called little. Well, I mean, I'm I'm fatter than you are. Yeah, you know. You that? Yes. Uh, Really? You think you're fatter than me? I don't know. I'm not proud of the fact that, but uh, yeah. Well, you're gonna have to get out more. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, you guys have uh, big sales going on uh, on from Baku. Did Did you see the uh, what I got in the mail today or the email? Did you get that? Yes, I did. You doing You're doing that as a dealer over in St. Peter's, Illinois, right? Yeah, we're gonna start it. Okay. Okay, well, there you go. There's a little breaking news. Dee, 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 for all the listeners over in Illinois, there you go. Go see Sean, and uh, you can get you a deal. You get a real good deal on those Baku bikes right now. And then I'll, I, I'll tell you what. I, the, thing, the best thing he's got over there is those Forerunner blinds and those carts. You got, you got those at the shop? Yes, I do. Yeah, you got to go over to see. You got to go over to Sean and see those. You, these are blinds that you can actually hook up. To an e-bike or to your Polaris or your ATV, and you can you don't you, you can pull them anywhere you want on the farm, and then you can pull the windows up and lock them down. I mean, they they don't move, they don't make any sound, and uh, man, you can get three or four people in those blinds easy, Sean. Yeah, you really can, and they won't they won't blow over like your normal pop up blind either. No, and those are made right in right here in Iowa. They are. Yeah, so there you go, Iowa proud. So uh, if you're interested in any kind of that and that cart. That cart is hands down one of the nicest carts uh, for pulling stuff around. I mean, it's just it's it's lightweight. You can move it around. It doesn't take up a lot of room in your truck. Um, you can just put a two inch ball. It's got a two inch ball cap on it, so you can just hook it right up. And I mean, they're sweet. So Chris Chris Hall says they are sweet. Chris, they are sweet, man. I like them. So there you go. All right, St. Peter's, Illinois, right? Yes, sir. All right, now don't say what it is because I don't want to get in trouble. But uh, next Tuesday is going to be a big deal, isn't it? Now, see, he knows because he's an elite dealer, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been keeping it in the house. Yeah, if you're, yeah, if you're, uh, if you're here in Iowa, go see Mark over at Archery Field and Sports in Altoona. But if you're over in Illinois, uh, you know, and you're look, looking at bikes and stuff, I'm sure, um, wait till, I'm sure he'll tell you something. But anyway, all right, hey, uh, I will talk with you. I just wanted to, and what'd you say, second shotgun starts in Illinois? Yep, start tomorrow morning here in Illinois. So wow. How how was uh when's that over with? Sunday night. Sunday night. Really? Four days. Yeah. Wow, that's a sh that's a short season. And after that is a muzzleloader and a bow. Uh, yeah, then we'll go bow Monday through Thursday, and then muzzleloader comes in Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't understand. I didn't know that was a sec that was such a short second season in Illinois. Yeah, they get, they get three weekends is all they get for gun season. Wow. Crazy stuff. All right. Yes, All right. You be good. I'll talk to you after a while. All right, buddy. 
there, you're welcome. There he goes, Sean. <laughs> Sean O'Shawn O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> Sean O'Shaughnessy Lots. Four runner blinds. Sean Lots is the big deal, Kevin says. <laughs> He's a good guy. I like Sean. Those, hey, I'm telling you what, those four runner blinds and, and uh, those trailers and everything, I saw, Larry and I saw those at the Iowa Deer Classic. And man, were those things awesome. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, and they're really, really well made. There's no, I mean, they don't make a lot of noise. They're, they're heavy built. They're not, they're not going to fall apart. You can put all your gear, your decoys, your, all your deer out with them. It's, they're good stuff. I mean, and uh, they do a good job down there with that. So, uh, 549 and some change here on the show. Soldier Boy Jerky has a subscription service. You know, they are the official uh, jerky of the uh, Unknown Files radio show coming out in Jan January 11th. Because you know why? Bigfoot loves Soldier Boy Beef Jerky. That's right, he does. You want to feel squatchy? Get you some Soldier Boy Jerky and take it out in the woods and you'll have Bigfoot all over you. I'm just telling you. <laughs> okay. yeah. That's the real deal, man. I'm telling you. The real deal. Yeah, when I was out in Alberta moose hunting and I kept popping open that jerky, I kept hearing, ch, ch, ch. I mean, like, big time. Makes sense. It was it was either a Bigfoot or a moose. I don't know what it was, but I heard footsteps, man. I heard stuff breaking, branches breaking. It was not, I was, Soldier Boy Jerky is a great snack anytime, Sean says. <laughs> I can't argue with you, man. It's good protein. That's some good, honest protein right there. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong. I've uh, had all the flavors. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Larry loves the Sweet Heat. My, I the original and the maple are my favorite. Well, Sweet Heat and maple are my... I like the original, but Sweet Heat, I'll take that any day. Well, there you go. Well, you can have a pack. i got a pack right over there. Nice. For you. there. Uh, so they got a subscription service. If you want to go and just go on Soldier, Berkey, uh, Soldier Boy Jerky. I don't know what I said the first time. SoldierBoyJerky.com. <laughs> To the website, you can uh, you can uh, sign up for their subscription service. You can get the, uh, how long you want. Uh, Sean says sweet heat and maple is his favorite. You can get the quantities you want. You can get how you know if you want to get a couple bags a month or you know whatever whatever you want to set up. You can set up. Well, just remember uh, one of the reasons we're happy to be partnering with Soldier Boy Jerky is a portion of their sales goes to help the troops overseas. Uh, they send product out over there. They do canine. Uh, uh, canine programs to help uh, get uh, care, uh, raise money for canine programs. And uh, Chris is a, is a vet, and uh, Chris and Matt do a wonderful job over there, and we're very, very happy to be partnered with them. So not a problem. How many bags, what size you want, and you get to choose. How often you want deliveries. It's a really nice description. And what a nice Christmas present, huh? You oh, can eat, you actually get a gift box, Soldier Boy Jerky. Who wouldn't want a gift box of jerky? That's a great idea. I'm telling you. Good minds think alike. 552 and some change on here. So there was something else I was going to tell you about. I told you about the astrology guy, uh, and he's got some great stories, man. Even Jenny came down and was listening to him. I had him on speaker in the studio, and Jenny goes, I want to talk to him. I got questions. So, uh, I mean, this guy is going to be fascinating. And uh, let's see. I told you about Tombstone. Oh, I told you about Gettysburg. Yeah. I told you about uh, Tob, uh, Toby, John, uh, Toby, and uh, Brett from uh, Flash of Beauty, the Bigfoot uh, movie. I can't wait for that. That's going to be fun. Uh, and Tob, Tob does a great, uh, Toby does a great radio show uh, called Strange Brow Radio. What was that? I just heard something. Yeah, it was probably Raven. 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 Uh, where's he at? Is he not? That's a good question. Yeah, he's not in my decoys or anything. Uh, I don't know. I can't confirm that a he dog, is. A dog. I'm telling you. Uh, Let's see. Your cat's nicely perched on the step. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I hear something going on over there. Anyway, we got we got some really cool stuff lined up. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, we got the Iowa Bigfoot Society. I'm going to talk to them. Yeah, yeah. I that is just something I think a lot of people don't admit that they love. Well, and I I really what's going to be cool if we get people from Iowa or Illinois or Missouri that actually have seen something and they don't know what it is or they've had an experience and yeah. they want to share it. I would love to have them come on the air. I mean, we can even give them a fictitious name, you know, give some anonymity. Telemachus. Yeah, you know, make sure that they're you know we're not you know and no like I said nobody's going to make fun of you. Nobody's going to you know everybody's going to be respectful unless we give you the name Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, well, that's. Remember what I said about the executive thing? 
<laughs> I, don't, I, I don't want to get sued by people. Now he's pulling out people I can get. Larry Joe Bob. Yeah, there. That's better. Yeah. All right, five fifty-four and some change. So uh, I hope good luck to everybody. Uh, I, and I apologize that we didn't do it on here, but I, I, I'm trying to make sure we get enough people listening to the app and get new new people downloading and stuff. Uh, we will have that. Uh, we're going to start that hunt soon. Uh, so Saturday, uh, I'll draw the winner for the boots tonight. Okay, and I don't know what I'm hearing, but I'm hearing something move around around here. This is creeping me out. You don't hear that? No, I, I do, and I swear it's Raven. It's Raven? Yeah, okay. Or we're at, or, or we're possibly filming our first episode of spooky stuff. Of spooky stuff right now. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's weird. Um, we're gonna draw the winner for that tonight, and Saturday we will draw that fall hunting package on the show Saturday. <laughs> so if you're in the screenshot contest, you got till Saturday, got till Friday night. I will, I will cut that off Friday night at uh, six o'clock. So you got till Friday night to listen in to send me a screenshot if you want to get in on that. And then the next big contest, we we got two. Uh, we have an ice fishing contest. We're going to be giving away a, a $100 gift card to Bojangle Baits for ice fishing. Hey, Nick. Yeah. Hey, Nick. I'm glad you got them, buddy. I'm glad you like them. Nick actually won uh, a pair of boots, and he loves them. So there you go. I love them. I like French fried taters, Kevin says. I, I like them French fried taters. <laughs> uh, I don't blame you, Nick. Yeah. Uh, so, and then, uh, what did I say? December... December, after we do all that this week, we got the dinner. After next week, we'll uh, we'll tell you how we can, we're going to start doing that Kansas whitetail hunt. i got to get that all worked out with Larry to Triple H Outfitters. That is going to be a big deal. That's going to be a big prize, man. So I'm looking forward to that. How about that? Didn't see anything. You didn't see anything? No. Yeah. All right. Anything you want to say? That was kind of spooky. You, you, you were honestly, you didn't all that noise over there, and nobody is I, dog down here. No, now that's weird. You didn't hear that sh sliding around it's like stuff. Been water sloshing around. Well, that's that's the uh, that's the humidifier. Well, I'm is, I know what that is, but I, 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 I'm I, I'm I hear, hearing stuff move. I hear it. Yeah, like someone's. Are you sure Raven's not feet? down here? Oh, yeah. That's goofy. Right. Oh man, we've already started that first episode right now. Well, I think the ghost from the other house followed us over. I had to. Have. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. All right, uh, Revelton's got some stuff coming out. I'm going to try to get down there this week. Uh, respect the Game TV. Please watch us on the Sportsman's Channel, Pursuit. Uh, we got new shows starting soon. Uh, we are also on Wavepoint TV and uh, the, uh, what is it, Outdoor TV? MOTV, MOTV. And there's something else coming out we're coming out on. We're going to be on like five or six networks on Respect the Game TV, which is exciting. Thanks to Larry Mack. Appreciate you there. Uh, Beast Feast is going to be in uh, February, and I think we're going to have maybe two bows to auction off. I'm going to donate one of my Envisions, and Larry Mack said he's going to donate a bow. So we're going to have two really nice elite bows to donate uh, for the live auction. I'm excited about that. Da -da 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 -da. Man, I think I'm all caught up. All right, we're out of here. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here a little early tonight. So uh, I've got some stuff I need to do. We will see you Saturday morning, 7 a.m. on 1350 ESPN or right here on Facebook Live. And, uh, hey, and I, somebody did ask me uh, if they missed the live show, uh, either the Wednesday Drive or the new, uh, the new show, Unknown Files, we will replay those on Saturday and Sundays. So you can you'll get a chance to listen in, and Andrew I believe is going to put them on all the, the uh, podcast platforms as well. So it'll be out there for you to listen to. Hey, thank you for being our friend. Thank you for doing everything you can uh, to get the, the word out for the Outdoor Call Radio app. If you need anything from me, message me or just say hi. You know, I'll get back with you. I promise. Until next time, if you're going hunting Saturday morning, please be safe and have a great time and send me pics. I want to see some bucks. We'll see you next time right here on the Wednesday Drive. All right, gang, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Kev, Nick, Sean. Sean, you're welcome, buddy. Uh, Chris, Raj, Brant, Kevin, Aaron, David, James, Steph, Daniel, Gary, Bruce, Danny up in Alaska, Bill, buddy, 
Fishing Dave, Rick, Jacob Pike, and Tony, thank you for watching tonight. I really appreciate you. You guys be good to one another. We're all in it together, and I will see you on Saturday. See you later. Bye.